Hello and welcome to a Euro Truck Simulator 2 Extra video. Now I have seen a few comments of people asking uh, what kind of mods do you run? Do you have a mods list that you can share? So I was thinking about this in the episode that I just recorded. I did mention it. I'm not sure what order these videos are going to be coming out in. This extra video might be out before that episode. It might be out after that episode. So just uh, bear that in mind when you see the episode. But as promised or as uh, as requested, here are my mods list or here is my mods list. Here are the mods that I currently run on this system. So you can see that the one that I put in most recently has actually been DP's realistic traffic. That is how I've been getting loads and loads of cars. I've got the uh, foul environment version 3.1 that works. Actual day nighttime mod. That is how or that is why in winter I have longer nights and day and some I have shorter. Realistic headlight, realistic flares, pretty good to use. Realistic truck physics, I used uh, mod version 8, uh, so that's what I used there. Sound fixes, and by the way, this order is a good order to have these in. Sound fixes pack version 21.58. This all, by the way, is for version 1.41 of Euro Truck Simulator. Obviously, when the when the game updates some of these may change for example pro mods that you see on screen in front of you will probably change to version 2.57 at that point in time then you've got the real ai traffic sounds and then realistic rain realistic building lights i'm not sure if that one actually works anymore realistic vehicle lights mod now this i so this one i'm not sure which one of these is actually being used i think that this one may be overwriting that i haven't yet worked out which one's which and i do need to play around with them real fuel prices real european companies and gas stations realistic uk license plates i'm not sure that is needed anymore real advertisements then all the pro mod stuff in in order uh, alphabetical order then all the jazzy cat stuff so the painted traffic the ai traffic bdf traffic pack trailers and cargo Bus traffic, overweight trailers and cargo, realistic vehicle colours. Then after the Jazzy Cat stuff, we have realistic vehicle colours, which does work with the Jazzy Cat mods. Then the Scania RJL, uh, of course, the truck that I use with the compatibility add-ons for cabin accessories, Mighty Griffin, the window flags. Then I have a Big Stars Actros. I'm not, I might take that off because I do not tend to use that. The Scania drivetrain revision. There are drivetrain revisions for all the manufacturers. So just put the one on that of the truck that you are using. For example, if I just click on that, you will see that there's a Volvo one, there's a Renault one, uh, and there are other ones as well. So you could grab that uh, for, the, for the cab that you have. Uh, SISL's Mega Pack that has loads of styles accessories as well as all the first aid bags and the, uh, the little compass and the telepass devices and um, I think the little GPS's and all of those kind of things are in this. Uh, magazines, bags, duffel bags, uh, camping stuff, basically whatever you want to customise the inside of your truck. It says featuring Star Wars DLC, yes there's lots of Star Wars things in there. High resolution gauges for the RJL trucks and the standard trucks and you'll see scale gauges for UK trucks, basically lots of Scania stuff there, uh, Iveco Australis, again some gauges, the heads up display GPS, this no longer works it seems, uh, actually no, correction, I, this is working now, it has been updated, um, in the last video it was working, so that has been, that has been updated, I'm fairly sure that, actually I'm just thinking about it, is that a separate GPS? Just to have a look at my videos, it, the heads-up display should be in the middle. I may have put a separate GPS device up because this no longer works, so just be, be aware of that. Um, this one I'm not sure about, I'm not sure if I really use that. Um, some some uh, wheels, tyres. The beacon fix for the 1.40 1 plus for big T beacons, this is where I had the beacons problems, followed by the big T beacons, and then Two times cash, double earnings because of YouTube and uh, Borman LED market lights pack. It would be interesting. It would be nice if we could do two times cash for YouTube as well uh, for the actual money. That would be nice. I put this in because I thought it'd be nice to drive that. I never got around to driving that. Some additional cargoes here and there. I can never find this one for some reason. Some more trailers, Eddie Starbart stuff. Eddie Starbart count today is one. 
some more 4k skins which i'm not sure they work on the rjl so it's not really worth it coffee and donuts um some more tires again loads of tires and then an add-on pack which probably needs to be further up and that's it that is my list of mods nothing special i just do it in a specific order so i'll have uh, things that affect the whole game at the top sound fixes things like that traffic uh, environment sound fixes uh, all of that sort of stuff goes at the top then i will do pro mods then i will do uh, trailers jazzy cat stuff uh, realistic vehicle colors then the trucks that i'm using with compatibilities then after that i'll do gauges and after the gauges then come accessories and trailers and that is literally the order i do it in obviously you can see wheels there i'll put them underneath the trailers just in case they cause any sorts of issues but that's it hopefully that was helpful for people who want to use some of the mods that i use they are all right there so you can just go skip through this video or go to whichever part of the video you need and just search that mod up in in the workshop and you will find it the only mods you will not find in the workshop is pro mods of course available on the pro mods website and the jazzy cat mods which you will have to search up unfortunately there's no real nice way of getting the jazzy cat mods um it would be nice if there was a a better website but i think it goes through mega upload and all of those so just make sure that in, in all honesty make sure you've got yourself some good firewalls and antivirus before you start uh, messing around with those just to prevent any spam adware spyware anything like that installing itself onto your machine of course if you're not sure about that just avoid the jazzy cat uh, traders your security and safety of your machine and your and your games and your documents and all of that is far more important than having some fancy traders in a title so that is that thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in another episode of euro truck simulator 2